Hello folks, bugun sizlar bilan 10 ta idioms, ya'ni iboralarni o'rganamiz anglizskida. Nimaga o'zi bizaga idiomalar kerak? IELTS speaking ni ham daje 2 ta, idiomani speaking ga sovarsanglar, juda ham kuchli speakerga o'xshab eshitilasizlar. Idioma o'zi nima? Bu boshqa so'zlarni ishlatib turib, nimadir ma'noni bersa, o'sha idioma hisoblanadi. Bularni birinchi marta eshitib turgan odam ma'nosini to'g'ri tushunmaydi, shuning uchun ko'p-ko'p iboralarni har kuni 2 ta dan yodlab tursanglar, o'zingizga ma'qul bo'ladi. Masalan, kimdir sizga kelib, you've missed the boat desa, mm, qaysi qayig'imni o'tkazib yuboraman deb o'ylab qolishingiz mumkin. Bu aslida ibora hisoblanadi. Bu degani sen juda ham kech qolding. Bu ishga uzi kech degani. You have missed the boat. We missed the boat. Oh, too. O'shan uchun ham bizaga idiomalar kerak. Uyalib qolmaslik uchun va IELTS'da yuqori ball olish uchun. So, let's get started. Number 1. Speak of the devil. Bu degani kimdir haqida gaplashib turgan yillarda o'sha odam kelib qolsa, ya'ni bo'rini eslasang quloq ko'rinadi degan. Speak of the devil, that will be her. Let's say, yeah, Max got married um, and now he has two children. Oh, speak of the devil, he came here. The sele bolat. Second one is that's the last straw. Ya'ni kimdir sabri oxirgi sabri tugagan bo'lsa, o'shanda sele bolat. That's the last straw. That was the last straw. You guys are too nice. Let's say She killed her boyfriend because he cheated on her again and that was the last straw. Number 3 is to make matters worse. Ya'ni ko'z chiqaraman deb qosh chiqarib qo'yish degandek, problemani yana ham yomonroq qilish. But to make matters worse, it now appears as though someone was filming me as well. For example, let's not talk about this subject anymore. You are making the matters worse. Ya'ni problemani juda ham yomonlashtirasan qaytanga. Next one is on the ball. On the ball degani nimadir kimdir yaxshi ish qilayotgan bo'lsa, someone is on the ball desiz bo'ladi. Somebody who's, who's got something on the ball, who's going somewhere in life. She really is on the ball. She has passed all her exams and got excellent result. Next one, to make a long story short, bu degani qisqa qilib aytganda. For instance, to make a long story short, That's how we met and got married. So let's move on. Next phrase is bite off more than you can chew. Ya'ni qila oladigan ishingizdan ko'proq ish olish qobiliyatingiz yetmaganda. She may have bitten off more than you can chew. As an example, I think you should wait for a little bit and learn start your business a bit later because you shouldn't bite off more than you can chew. So, our next phrase is to kill two birds with one stone. Ya'ni ikkita quyonni bitta o'q bilan o'ldirish. I just figure you wanted to kill two birds with one stone. So I'm going to the bank now. On the way back, I will also buy some fruit. Killing two birds with one stone. Saving for a rainy day is our next idiom. Ya'ni qora kunga pulni yoki nimadirni olib qo'yish. I'd like to put some of it into a tea bill, some of it into the stock market, and the rest I just like to save for a rainy day. Please don't waste your money so much. You should save for a rainy day. Curiosity killed the cat. Ya'ni lyubopitstvo qiziquvchanlik mushukni o'ldirdi. So'zmasiz tarjima qilganimiz edi. Avzbichasiga kam bilsang, ko'p o'xlaysan. Kimdir rizi ko'p narsa so'riy yursa, unga qarab curiosity killed the cat deb sezib oladi. Last but not least, that ship has sailed. Ya'ni o'tkizvording. U poyiz o'tib ketdi, uzi kech. Juda ham kech bo'lganda shu iborani ishlatsangiz bo'ladi. Comfortable that ship has sailed. You cannot call her or ask her out because that ship has sailed. Now she's married and she's got three children. Why am I making sentence about marriage again and again? So that was it for today. Hozir kommentariyada o'zbekchada qanaqa iboralar bilasizlar, qanaqa qiziqarli iboralar eshitgansizlar, o'shalarni qoldiringlar. Biz sizlarga anglizskiysini yozib qoldiramiz. Thank you.